I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, before I start this off, let's take a moment to remember Grumpy Cat. He passed away today at only seven years old. Kitty was born in 2012 and he passed away today. I forget exactly what today's date is, but it's May 2019. That's unfortunate, I must say. It's such a famous kitty. But anyways, um, one thing I've been working on lately is recapping power supplies. I got a whole bunch of power supplies down there that were pulled from systems over the past year or two that are in need of capacitor replacements, either a couple of caps or a full recap depending on the unit. One in particular is this light-on power supply. Yeah, a light-on of all units. Yeah, light-ons are usually known as really decent units. However, some of them do use OST capacitors, and while OST caps and power supplies have seen to be okay, there have been some instances where we'd have some failures. This is one of those instances. So this is a light-on unit from an Acer system. It was powering a Pentium D system, so that could explain something. <laughs> Pentium Ds run extremely hot and pull a good bit of energy. So, look at the ratings on this guy. If I can get a good focus on the label. 20 amps on the plus 5. Has two 12 volt rails. One 10 amps and one 13 amps. 3.3 volt rail rated for 20 amps. So this is a 300 watt unit. Built like a tank. This unit did work but it was intermittent sometimes it would not want to power up so when you look in these units usually you'll see capacitors failing like up in this area which I think this capacitor right there is why this thing only starts sometimes it's in the 5 volt standby circuit and sometimes when those either short out or just get out of whack they uh, you know they cause the 5 volt standby to not want to behave I think of the best SEC ATX 25012E power supply where they had issues of voltage spiking, but with these, usually the 5 volt standby would just simply not work or just work. But uh, we have failing capacitor here, failing capacitor there, and behind all the wires, we have a failing capacitor where my finger is. And what's funny <laughs> is, uh, the top of this capacitor is heat shrinked. Why? Why would they do that? But uh, anyways, that's not it guys. And the reason why I'm doing a video of this one is because I'm seeing something quite bizarre. I want you guys to look at the two primary caps here. <laughs> Even they're bulging. You don't see this every day. Look at the right one. It's really bulging. Big time. Now these these primaries are only rated for 85 degrees Celsius, whereas the other ones are probably rated for 105. Yep, 105 Celsius I'm seeing on some of them over there. But yeah, usually usually even 85 degree rated capacitors do okay in power supplies and stuff, but this is rather bizarre. Usually the primaries, even like from brands like Capzon, usually those don't even fail. So, I'm hoping I'm going to have replacements for these. I got to figure out, and they're OST, of course. I got to figure out. Looks like a 680 microfarads. I do have some. They're caps on, but they'll work. They were pulled out of, a, out of another power supply I scrapped years ago. So, for the first time ever. I'm going to have to replace primary caps in a recap job. So yeah, the unit was, as mentioned, uh, working intermittently. Um, I think what it would do is it wouldn't want to power up as soon as you plug it in. You'd have to wait a few minutes and then try to power it up again and it would start. But yeah, isn't that bizarre, guys? 
Even the primary input capacitors are bulging in this unit. <laughs> it's crazy. That that is just freaking crazy. <clears throat> Anyways, I figured I'd just do a quick little video of that. Yeah, that'd be that'd be like one of the first times I've seen that in a power supply like this, with the primaries bulging. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace these filling caps, and this unit would be good to go, hopefully. As long as it passes the back porch test and everything checks out, then it'd be good to go. But yeah, even even quality units like this from light on can sometimes suffer from bad capacitors, and in this case, even in the primary. Okay, everybody. This is a, as an added bonus. I figured, you know, I've I've went ahead and recapped that unit. Um, I didn't have any 680 microfarad caps like I thought I did, but I did have some 820 microfarad Nichicons uh, slapped in there. Nothing wrong with increasing the value in this case. That uh, I figured. Let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the tops of these things, or at least one of them. It's getting kind of late, so I gotta make this quick. But I wanted to, I wanted to shoot this video. I want to try to get this on video before I uh, uploaded the final to YouTube. So all I gotta do here is just peel off this, and <laughs> there you are. Look at this. It's not leaking yet, but you can definitely see some bulging in it. Interesting to see that the uh, OST primaries take on a Y-shaped vent rather than a plus. So I figured I'd do the same for the other one. And they are in they are in fact bulging. Now I mentioned earlier in this video that uh you know, usually the primaries don't fail that often. Well sometimes they I'd say sometimes they probably do, they just don't actually bulge up like this, but yeah. <clears throat> it's not very often you see the you see the primary caps um bulge up and, and leak. You know, a primary cap shorting out <laughs> would not be pretty at all. You get a nice bang out of your power supply, and probably you would probably um, blow the uh, the inrush current limiting NTC, and also the uh, probably the the input fuse as well, and maybe even your house circuit breaker. Yeah, so it's not exactly great when a uh, primary caps fail. Like, oh, come on, why is this one being such a bear? Well, the other one was like a piece of cake to get the top off. You know, some, of the, some brands of caps, they like to stick these uh, rubber, not excuse, not rubber, but plastic covers across the vent. I don't understand exactly why they do that, but they do. Okay, so you can see the right one. Is definitely bulging more but they're both they're both bulging a little bit there <laughs> crazy stuff so anyways there you go crazy stuff anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching well guys that's it for this one but it doesn't have to be there's plenty more videos on the channel to check out also if you liked the video please click the like button and if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeCompMTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for your support.